fixed up, gonna do the air box, air filter. There's absolutely no tools needed for this, simply that clip there, and that clip there, and a bit of needle. Cover off just enough to get the old filter out. As you can see, that's absolutely covered in grey. What we're going to do, because the air boxes are invariably full of dust, get the old hoover out. <coughs> Right, I'm going to get our new filter. Next box. Looks identical to the old one. So we're going to make sure it goes back in the same way. Which is that. Make sure it's sitting down on the ceiling ring. Push the lid closed nice and tight. Get the clips on. And that's it. One air filter changed. Onwards now to the fuel filter, which is this bad boy here, on the near side of the engine bay. And you get them into the same wrenches as we're going to use for the air filter. And start on doing it. for a 12mm deep socket to undo Let's spin off these nuts going to go and tip this back into the petrol tank and then we'll uh, be on with the next bit with the fuel filter on the bottom you'll see this thing you'll notice that your new filter, filter should have a hole on it it's a drain for it and the water sensor it's going to get some uh, plumbing grips pipe grips, mold grips, whatever you want to call them just hold it and spin the filter off it and we're now going to go and drain this bit Right, this is the uh, bung out the bottom of the thing, the water sensor. As you can see, my fuel filter obviously hasn't been changed in ages because it's full of this muddy lark. I'm just going to wipe off the cloth. Um, out of the bottom of this, when I went to tip it out, there was actually lumps coming out of the back of it. So I very quickly stopped trying to tip it into the fuel tank and decided better off to just tip it into a drain tray elsewhere. Next up, like that rubber seal off as there's a new one with the new filter inside the new filter box which is here we've got our new filter just going to put it to one side it's fine putting it down on the end if it's got a cover on and one rubber o-ring so what we're going to do slide that back over there then we'll Spin that back inside there. Right, now that that's home by hand, just going to fit on a little bit of a turn. That's as tight as it'll go. So, this cover that's on the filter, see it, it's obviously designed to keep it clean inside. 
it's going to come off my hand, so I'm going to take the gloves off. There we go, just like that. Just going to put my gloves back on. Check that the ceiling face is clean on there. Just spin on. It'll be well. I'm just going to unplug the unscrew the bottom. A little bit, so it'll make it easier to get the main filter back on. Don't want that, it won't. It's fine. Do that back up. Nice and tight again. back together and put that on its two posts. Get its nuts. Spin them down the ratchet. All we've got to do now is pump the primer. We should have fuel coming through. Eventually. You'll find this will take a little while. It's not the greatest of pumps. Something I intend to do when I get a chance is upgrade to a grenade type hand pump to bring the fuel back up faster because this really is going to take ages.